Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm doing zucchini. And you're probably thinking, zucchini again? Come on. Well, I'm growing a few plants outside and I'm getting a lot of zucchinis off of them. So, got to use them while you have them. So I was playing around last night and I came up with a pretty good recipe. At least I thought it was pretty good with canned salmon and Havarti cheese and zucchini. So I'm going to do that. But before I get started, let me give a quick shout out to Booger500US. She has a cooking channel and the last time I did a zucchini recipe, uh, she kind of watched that one and she kind of did her own version of it in this little Actifry machine. Actually, I don't think it's called an Actifry, but it's some kind of a little frying machine. And uh, she has some pretty cool stuff in that thing. And she grows, she's got a garden and she grows a lot of vegetables and stuff as well. So I will put the link to her channel below. She's pretty cool and she does some good videos. So, but for now, let's get toasting. All right, let me show you guys what I have going on over here. Um, I took a bit, pretty good size zucchini and just sliced it, you know, crossways. And um, I've got some canned salmon here. I've already topped five of them with the salmon. So if you've never seen canned salmon, it comes kind of whole. comes in big chunks like that. And there's actually skin and bones and everything in there. So what I did is pulled some out and broke it up into little pieces. And... Uh, all I did is uh, just put some of the salmon on the zucchini like this. This is something I'd never done before until last night. I had this can of uh, salmon in the cupboard for probably like a year that I just didn't really know what to do with it. It's like canned salmon, I usually just end up eating it out of the can. I don't really, <laughs> I never really know what to do with it. It's kind of rich to make a sandwich and stuff. So, all right. Um, now, last night I experimented with different seasonings and stuff, and here's the two that I like the best. Dill weed. To me, dill and salmon just kind of go hand in hand. So, uh, sprinkle a little dill weed on, on these. Not too much, just, just like that. And... Um, <laughs> The other thing that I came up with is this, it's a, it's a new barbecue rub I bought not long ago. It's a mustard vinegar rub. And it also says that it's good on fish and shrimp. And so I tried some of this on a few of these last night and it was really good. In fact, this rub, these ones I put the rub on, had more flavor than the ones I put the dill on. But, uh, you know, I figure a lot of you guys probably won't have this rub, but just kind of experiment with different seasonings and see what you like. Now, I was going to put some lemon pepper on some of them because I use that on fish a lot. But as you can see, this is, <laughs> it's all hard and not very good. That's ready to go into trash, I think. All right, what else? Now, then I topped these with Havarti cheese, sliced Havarti cheese. If you've seen my videos, you know I use Havarti cheese quite a bit. You can actually buy Havarti cheese that um, has dill in it, but I haven't seen that lately, so just sprinkling my own dill on there works fine. I just put a little bit of cheese on each one of these, just like that. And uh, let me get another piece of cheese and I'll finish up these other two and then we'll get them into the toaster oven. One more quick thing. This company Till Harvest sent me these gentle giant pruners last year and I did a video with them and they wanted me to try them because they know I have bum pain in my arms. You know, I have thoracic outlet syndrome so I have kind of bum arms and they wanted me to try them out and see how I like them because they're they're ergonomically correct and they have a handle that rotates and I've had the chance to use them quite a bit. In fact, I use them to uh, cut the zucchinis off the plant and uh, I've been using them to prune my roses a lot and I really like these. In fact, I just checked Amazon to see if they're still selling them on there 
And the last time I uh, looked, these were selling for $39.95, and now they're down to $29.95. So that's a good deal in my opinion, because those are probably the best shears that I've ever used. So let me get some more cheese on these and we'll get them into the toaster oven. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees and we'll just put these in there until the cheese melts and the zucchini softens up some. I tried doing some of them without cheese yesterday but they're way better with cheese. So we'll be back in a few minutes. These pruners work pretty good around the kitchen for cutting some vegetables too. I'll put the link in the description if anybody wants to check them out. Let's check these. It's been about 10 minutes. Cheese is nice and melted. One thing about Avardi cheese, it melts really well. And tastes great too, so let's get these out of there. These really smell good. and They're real easy to make and they're healthy. Low carb. This is the one that has the barbecue rub on it. Now last night when I tried these, the ones with the barbecue rub had the most flavor, where the uh, ones with the dill had maybe a little bit of a cleaner, fresher taste, but let me try this one right now. I really like these. I don't use canned salmon all that much because I don't really know what to do with it most of the time. This is probably one of the best things I've done with canned salmon. And you know, my wife just came out. She said, you know, you could do that with tuna as well. And she's right about that. You could use tuna instead if you wanted to. So, hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.